Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome back to a new episode of the Ridwanullah show. I'm your host, Hussein Muhammad, working to help you completely maximize your life, finances, and business in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, verily, all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, owner, and sustainer, the one who's worthy of all worship without any associates or intermediaries. And may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Inshallah, um, in today's episode, I have uh, I want to share with you guys one of the most important lessons that I've recently learned. Be the nillahi taala, um, and it's a very, very powerful one. Um, it impacts not only your your life, uh, your finances, as well as your business. Uh, and this particular lesson really like took me back, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and it made me ponder deeply about, you know, some of the challenges that I'm going through and uh, the type of person that I particularly am, just to kind of give you a little bit of an insight. Uh, but before we dive a little bit deeper into it, ta'ala, just to kind of share with you guys the sponsors, announcements and updates. Um, uh, our primary sponsor, as usual, is uh, Redwanullah.com, um, an Islamic uh, personal professional development company that's designed uh, to help you completely maximize your life, finances, and business in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, so, and, and if you would like to sponsor this show, uh, send your request, budget, and details to ridwanullahorganization at gmail.com um, and be the first official sponsor of the Ridwanullah show bi idnillahi ta'ala um aside from that announcements and updates alhamdulillah rabbil alamin just recently came from uh denver visiting family uh really really amazing time alhamdulillah rabbil alamin um aside from that there's something really really amazing that's coming up i don't know when we will be releasing this particular episode uh, but if you heard this before uh, the new year of 2021, um, this will be applicable. And even if you heard it after, it'll still be applicable. Be the nilahi ta'ala, if that's even the right word. Uh, but we're launching two new programs aside from the Radwanullah University Life Maximization Program, uh, which you can check in the description below for more details. Uh, we will have uh, two more programs that are launching bi starting uh, January 2021. Uh, one of them will be the Financial Maximization Program, um, and the other one will be the Business Maximization Program. So both of them you can find in the description below. Um, I believe it's the same link, and you'll be able to check out each program bi ta'ala. Um, and this is something that, you know, I've put in a lot of energy, a lot of effort, and a lot of thought. Um, hopefully, you can join us in those programs as well. Uh, this is more of a group program. Um, we also have one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, consultations and trainings and coachings, um, if you guys are interested in that as well. So, um, you know, there's a lot more exciting things coming up uh, in the new year. So I hope that that was uh, something that you guys could uh, take advantage of and join us in that program and the students that are uh, within those programs, bidhanillahi ta'ala, that'll be an amazing, amazing journey to share with you. Um, the ups and the downs, the in-betweens, bidhanillahi ta'ala. Um, aside from that, there's a bunch, uh, you know, tons of ideas that, that is roaming in my head. A lot of problems and challenges that we're all going through that I'm particularly facing as well in my life, finances, and business that I hope to share with you guys and hope to get some level of uh, feedback from you guys as well. Um, 
so that is pretty much it with the sponsors, announcements, and updates. ta'ala. So diving into the topic uh, of you know the most important lesson that I've recently, one of the most important lessons that I've recently learned, um, and it was in the book. Uh, uh, T. Harv Eker's uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, I believe. And uh, you can check uh, in the description below uh, for more details of it. Um, I believe it's under the, the four categories as Dean and Self, Family and Relatives. It's under the Finances and Work. Uh, as, you know, the Ummah in the World is the fourth category. But this one is particularly addressing finances and work, but uh, finances and business, I should say. Um, but uh, it, it, it really impacts all the other aspects of your life as well And hopefully I'm getting a little bit more comfortable uh, With uh, you know creating more content um, Sometimes I batch them Sometimes I try to spread it out uh, so Alhamdulillah uh, Rabbil Alameen The most imp the, the lesson that I, that, it, 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 that I learned from it is uh, whenever you, you you're faced with you know various problems and challenges in your life, uh, don't get so consumed in your life the, the problems and challenges. Uh, get consumed with the level of a person you are in relation to that challenge. So instead of just focusing on resolving your problems, start focusing on building yourself up to resolve those problems and challenges, whatever problem and challenges that it may be. And that was just so that was just so profound to me. Subhanahu rabbi al It really shifted my focus from you know the problems and challenges which are always going to be there, which are going to be in a numerous amount of numbers, um, and and uh, uh, to to really focus on the level of a person that I am. And I'll give you a couple of examples that really opened my eyes. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I'm the type of person that you just got to give me the tip of the iceberg and I will imagine and really like dig deeper into, you know, the whole of the iceberg and I'll really dial in and take lessons because I'm a, you know, trainer and coach by heart. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And, you know, I particularly train people, you know, for me personally, I try to build my life, my finances and businesses um, and in turn, I try to train and coach individuals on doing the exact same thing, if not better, right? Um, and in, in my learning and development, grow, you know, learning and growing journey, um, this is one of the lessons that really struck me because, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, as I'm, you know, obviously I don't want to make it sound like it's bigger than it is or I don't want to belittle it either, so I'm trying to find the balance and sometimes I have to go through uh, the different extremes, um, but it, it really opened my eyes to like not see the problem as the problem, right? To see myself as the problem. So, for example, there's let's say I like to use percentages. Uh, you can use whatever works better for you out of ten or whatever. Uh, for me, I like to stick with percentages because that's a little bit more accurate and a little bit more detailed, or even in general. So let's say, for example, um, obviously, let me just take a step back and mention, you know, there's very, we, we all carry a lot of different uh, identities, right? Like for me right now, uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I'm a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, an individual, uh, a family leader, a family participant, um, and also uh, an aspiring entrepreneur and investor uh, to whatever capacity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed me um, and also inside sales and uh, inside sales representative for a particular company um, you know a husband a father a son uh, I'm also some level of a, a aspiring philanthropist you know trying to do whatever I possibly can within our Ummah world uh, on a smaller scale on a grander scale you know and that's just me black uh, Muslim, Somalian uh, man in America. So for you, it might be different, you know, just looking at the different individuals that I personally connect with, you know, the, 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 the wife, uh, the, the mother, um, you know, everybody deals with their own level of uh, problems and challenges in life, whatever capacity, uh, 
that you are coming from. So really look at, you know, either your life, your finances or business, really look at like, what are the problems and challenges that you're facing right now? And, and, um, which, you know, you could look at it overall, or you could look at it individually and same thing, which, and then, and then look at the type of person that you are specifically. So, make sure that you know which level of a problem that you're dealing with and which level of a person you are so let's let's take a step back and give you a couple of examples in a general sense let's say someone has to uh man uh, th this is the one that's like at the top of my head i'm trying to dodge it but i can't uh paying rent right Let's say uh, paying rent is a okay. Let's take a step back. Let's say you are a level five person, for example, in relation to paying rent, right? Uh, meaning you're you're making this amount and you're doing this and you have a level seven problem in terms of the rent amount so in that particular sense uh it's completely overwhelming that individual right because they are a level seven person meaning they're earning a particular income and they are of a particular mindset and everything else so they in in the in, in terms of the income that they make and in terms of the level of a person that they are they are a level five person but they're dealing with a level seven problem in terms of the amount of rent that they have to pay and maybe this is a good opportunity <laughs> i'm a little bit tripping because uh the the rent just recently got increased alhamdulillah uh, i say alhamdulillah um because you know, I got I got some thoughts about it, but I just say Alhamdulillah la kulli hal. But anyway, in that situation, you know that this is going to be a big challenge for this, a reasonable size challenge for this particular individual. It may or may not be me. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably uh, kind of you know. But anyway, uh, let's say um, yeah. So let's say let's. So it's, it's a reasonably challenging thing to, to go through. Let's say the level of a person that I that the, this example is went down, right? Let's say they are a level three person, but they're dealing with a level seven problem. It's a big, bigger problem. So obviously you can go in, in various ways and things like that. But for me, it went from, you know, it, it, it really, it, this sounds weird right now, but, but just hear me out. It really got me excited about my problems <laughs> in life, finances, and business. SubhanAllah. I got really, really excited because it just showed me that I had to step up the level of a person that I particularly am to deal with any level of a problem that can come in my life um, or finances and business or whatever else it may be. So that was a very, very important lesson because, like I said, it stopped, uh, you know, the problems and challenges that I've had in my life stopped consuming me because now I'm looking at, okay, I'm dealing with the level of this problem and this is the type of level of a person that I am right now overall, right? Or specifically for each particular uh, problem or challenge and it was uh it was really really eye opening and i hope that you can really really look into uh in your life finances and business and see what problems and challenges that you're dealing with in the level of a problems the level of problems and challenges that you're dealing with and then look at yourself which level of a person are you in relation to those problems whether that's just overall or um uh specifically to those particular problems and challenges so that was a very very eye-opening lesson i hope that you're taken as well um it, it's 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 an unbelievable um thing to kind of it's very empowering right i hope that you can sense that you you're, you're like i could handle 
any problem because even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not even, specifically and especially Jalla wa ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not burden a soul beyond what it could bear. So that really, really, subhana rabbi al wallahi, like, it made me realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, jalla wa ala, has made us more powerful than any problems and challenges that we could ever deal with. And I connected those two, you know, from the, the, the sacred knowledge and the sacred uh, experience of La يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وُسْعَهَا And then from the book, um, uh, the, the, the Secrets of the Millionaire Mind and, and connecting you know, the, the sacred knowledge with the secular knowledge and having this, and, and it's all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because even the sec secular knowledge Whoever they, they, they say has taught them whatever they have learned and whatever they have come to find out of what is the truth, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who taught them. So I per prefer sacred knowledge first and foremost, even though I'm lacking in that. But I also learned from secular knowledge as well. You know what I mean? Having been through living in a, in a secular country, um, in a sec going through secular universities, it's a challenge to really learn the sacred knowledge and combine the two. But you can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when, when he mentioned that he does not burden a person, a soul, beyond what it could bear, that's a, that summarizes the lesson and gives us in a precise way, in a concise way, what that is. So whatever problem and challenge that you're dealing with in your life, your finances and business, It, it, it could never overcome you. You could always deal with it. So uh, know that because this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said directly to us and to the Prophet, uh, our, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it's, it, it was even up until now, like I just, I, I started before I, I, it just completely over my, my problems and challenges completely overwhelmed me. I mean, I'm, and even at times they still do. But I, I really realized that there's no problem or challenge in my life, my finances and or business in this dunya and in the akhirah that I can't overcome. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has built you, yes, you to handle any problems and challenges that comes your way. Now, shaitan wants you to believe otherwise. Um, shaitan wants you to think otherwise. Um, and it was important for me to realize that, you know, even right now that I'm sharing this with you guys, it makes me think, you know, uh, sometimes I think I can't handle some of the business problems and challenges that I'm experiencing. Um, within the business that I'm working for or the businesses that I'm building particularly. But having realized what I'm realizing right now, and I hope that you realize along with me, is that there's nothing that I can't overcome. There's nothing that you can't overcome. Um, and everybody's dealing with some level, some type, and some level of problems and challenges in life, finances and business. So I hope that you could share, I hope that you could benefit from the general wisdom in this lesson that, you know, you have to look at the level of a person that you are in relation to the level of a problem that you have or in the level of problem that other people have. and. There is times where, you know, the problem that you have is greater than the person that you are. But collectively, you know, if you look at it even from an individual perspective, there's nothing that you can't overcome. And if there's something that you can't overcome, guaranteed, collectively, there's nothing that we can't overcome. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you stronger. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you realize your strength. And more importantly, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us realize His strength, Jalla wa ala. So I, really, I really, I hope that this is, man, like, 
it, it really gets me fired up. Like that, 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 that right there, bud. That thing hit differently, though. I will tell you what. <laughs> I'm, I, I promise, man. Like, ooh, we uh, talking about motivation, dog. Now, I mean, the motivation is Subhanallah. Um, it, it's it's an amazing thing uh, to to have the motivation, to have the inspiration. Um, and I hope that, you know, through the Radwanullah show and overall the Radwanullah company and organization that uh, we can share a lot of these things with you and hope to uh, increase whatever good goodness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for us. Um, you know, so I'm trying to post every week at least once uh, the show, uh, you know, at least once a month have interviews and conversations um and you know this is just the beginning hopefully there's more frequent stuff coming up but you know check in, instead of being consumed by the problems look at the level of a per, the level of problems that you have look at the level of a person that you are be and uh, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not burden a soul more than it could bear um, and you are more powerful in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has designed and created you like that. Um, it's a very, very powerful lesson. And I you know, try to teach as many people as I can, you know, just through the Radwanullah show or just any of the other content that I create or through Radwanullah University. Um, you know, the, the particular program that, uh, that, 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 I, that, I've, that I've been building with the two new uh, programs that is happening that is being added in addition to the life maximization program we're also doing the financial maximization program as well as the business maximization program i hope that you guys can join us there be even illahi ta'ala um and just to uh you know give you a quick recap of uh the sponsors announcements and updates primary sponsor radwanullah.com check us out if you would like to sponsor, send us an email at ridwanlaorganization at gmail.com. Uh, you know, check in the description below the two other programs that we're adding on to the life maximization program. You know, for me, I love Islamic uh, personal professional development. That is my career, my calling uh, that I'm working to build a business around along with all the other things that I'm doing uh, before that, within it, and after it, bi'idhni Allahi Taala. But you know, I hope I hope to you know uh, uh, you know uh, build this amazing uh, um, uh, company that I'm building in this business that I'm building, bi'idhni Allahi Taala, and your love and support will be greatly appreciated. Um, like I said, I came from Denver, Colorado recently, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, visiting family who really gave me uh, uh, encouraging uh, words and just hopeful, like it, they, they really built my uh, self-esteem and confidence, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, you know, all of my aunts, uncles and cousins, grandparents, um, uh, in Denver and all the other places that my family lives, um, uh, it, they they really gave me encouraging words, and I hope to give you encouraging words that what you're doing, as crazy as it seems, uh, is worth it. Uh, it, it. It's 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 um, you. That's what you should go after. Be um, ta'ala. You know, don't give up on your goals and dreams. You know. It is your goals and dreams for a reason. So you have to uh, go out there and make it happen as crazy as it seems, as impossible as it seems. Like for me to create uh, the Radwanullah show and Radwanullah.com and the organization overall and the Radwanullah University and hopefully build a store and, you know, come up with conferences and quarterly retreats and experimentations and other businesses that are completely separate from this and so many other things were just so beyond me but you know i'm, I'm living the dream even if it's one percent i'm living my dreams i've dreamt about you know having the financial time and location freedom flexibility and wealth alhamdulillah rabbil alameen and it, to to one percent i have that you know 
I was able to travel to Denver and I was continue continuing my work. You know, my business is primarily online as of right now. Uh, and hopefully as we expand, we can, you know, do some in-person stuff like um, the annual conference, the quarterly mastermind retreats, um, and so many other things that we have coming up, right? Uh, the big, the biggest ideas that we're currently working on is the Redwanullah Show, um, Redwanullah University, uh, and also uh, the Redwanullah Conference, uh, Redwanullah uh, Quarterly Mastermind Retreats. Um, and also the Redwanullah store, right? Uh, those are like the biggest ideas and we're gonna continuously experiment. Um, and also, you know, the books, right? Uh, the books, speaking engagements, so many other things that are like the biggest ideas that uh, we're currently doing uh, through the Redwanullah uh, company and organization, uh, Allah Ta'ala. Um, I digress. I, I come back to this um, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. You know, a, a huge part of you know building a business that I will share with you guys in a different episode is you know marketing and selling is a huge thing. Constantly reminding uh, yourself and others what you offer, why you're offering it, and how they can support you, and so many other things. So. Uh, I hope that you guys don't get tired of me, but you know, there's always somebody new that's learning about what we're doing for the first time. Um, and as of right now, this is my side hustle. Uh, hopefully it becomes the main thing. Like right now I have a main source of income and work through a particular company that I work for and a job that I have. But I'm hoping that, you know, the Radwanullah, um, uh, organization the, the Radwanullah company and organization uh, is or companies I should say because there's so many different small ideas that I have uh, will become the main source of income and work uh, and I realize how important it is to, to do this work uh, because you know if, I'd rather do this as a full-time source of income and work than anything else since I'm extraordinarily passionate about it and it directly impacts our Ummah world in, a, in an amazing way. Uh, I hope that that'll be the case. But I just, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you guys have any particular ideas or constructive feedback from me or the company and organization, companies and organization, uh, please let me know. Ta'ala. Um, and, uh, you know, we will be the Nillahi Ta'ala serve as best as we possibly can. Um, and I hope that you, you see all your problems and challenges as an exciting game to overcome. Bidhanillah um, ta'ala. Hopefully, you guys can join us in Radwanullah University, join us in the programs uh, as we continuously build the infrastructure. Um, uh, you know, it, it'll be an amazing journey. I like it so far. It's not easy. It's very complex and hard. But, you know, I, I recently I just connected with one of my uh, entrepreneurial uh, Muslim entrepreneurial friends. Um, that's actually within some of the, the programs that I have going on right now. And it made me realize how important it is to mastermind and network. And really we get, you know, genuine constructive feedback and powerful feedback that really ignites uh, your, 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 your motivation and inspiration. But again, I digress. Uh, to summarize and conclude, uh, ta'ala, you know, you are more powerful than any problems and challenges that come your way. And if it happens to be bigger than you, if you happen to deal with a problem that is bigger than where you are right now, you can always build yourself up, but it can never be greater than the collective. I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unites our ummah. I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to, um, you know, level up uh, to, to the highest levels of any field or any profession. Uh, that we have going on out there, be the ta'ala. I'm particularly focused on so many other things, but my main one is Islamic personal professional development, which I hope that you can benefit from here and you know how to build a business around that and try to make it as consistent and constant as possible. Uh, be the ta'ala. So 
uh, you know, keep going after your dreams. Keep building whatever you're building. I hope that uh, I'm, I'm only telling you what I hope that I wish that somebody continuously told me. Um, but I think that is pretty much it. Jazakumullah uh, khair. You know, check us out at radwanullah.com for more information. Under construction website, but hopefully it'll all come together and build it into this nice, uh, complete and individually functioning uh, website and business and everything else that you can imagine be then Allah ta'ala um jazakumullah khair ridwanullah family for tuning in to a new episode of the ridwanullah show i'm your host life finances and business maximizer hussein mahmoud checking out by saying never ever give up on completely maximizing your life finances and business in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.